For every one of the cities, I chose the most legendary hotels, and some of them still exist, and some of them have already disappeared. But uh, uh, I chose them because at that time there were very, very special places. People used to stay there for days, and there were parties, and there were balls and receptions, and they were very, very medical places. So I decided to use them as a part of, of my book because they could provide the story with some particular magic. In order to learn about the world of uh, espionage, I w the only thing I did was to watch old movies and to read novels. I don't have any technical knowledge about that word. I don't know any spy. And, but I read a lot and, and I learned a few tricks of that world. And then when I decided to, to use my own uh, uh, code, which was Morse code for, for Sarah's uh, technique to, to transfer the messages in the patterns of her dresses, I think it's something that I just made up. I think it's an invention. Although some people have told me that during the Second World War, it was sometimes used the same technique, but using like plans, written plans of pieces of, of uh, weapons to transfer information from one place to another. But uh, in my case, I think it was just my imagination what I used. Rosalind Fox was a very, very charismatic woman. She was a fantastic, incredible woman who was a real character. She was English, uh, but she grew up in, in Calcutta in, in colonial time, in, in the times of the British Empire. And then she came to, to Spain, well, to Spain, to Morocco first. And then uh, she became the lover of the High Commissioner of that at that time of Spain, at that time in, in Morocco. And she's the one who influenced him to uh, support the Allies, the British, during the, the World War, uh, confronting the political situation of Spain, which was pro-Nazi, pro-German. I did a lot of research and I read a lot of the, about the people who lived at that time, and that's how I found the characters of Juan Luis Begbeder and Rosalind Fox, who are the main uh, historical, real characters of the book. And I just fall in love with her, her public and personal and private story and the romance and the, and the history around them. Uh, but I didn't want to write a novel just with real characters. I wanted to create uh, a fiction and a fictional main characters. And that's why I created Sarah and that's why I joined her to Rosalind. It's, it's like a connection between fiction and reality in my book.